Right, what's up people? Person? Anyone? This signal is being received. <laughs> Just not the way you think. I got a kind of like a what I would call a by request uh, video suggestion <laughs> in the comment section of my last video. I think this one actually might be one of those ones where I actually have to get on my fucking laptop and improve it. So if I'm referring to something that you can't see in the comment section, it's only because for whatever fucking reason, YouTube sometimes flag shit as possible spam even though i don't give a shit um unless you're writing the same sentence over and over again like a hundred billion times i kind of don't care that's just me personally say whatever you want to say man free speech and all uh what i want to uh, yeah oh yeah the fucking um suggestion <laughs> just like stop talking about politics it's mundane start talking more about whatever satanism the occult philosophy you know the shit i'm really bad at <laughs> kidding or am i because if that was a magic carpet, that corner wouldn't keep turning up like it does. But and these pine cones would have been trees by now. If I knew what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> okay, this video is going to be Satanism 101. And that which does not kill me makes me stronger. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that quote unattributed. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if you want to go ahead and type that into Google and find out something, you won't be finding out what's really important. And the thing is, and what I mean by that is like, okay, let's say that it was Fred Smith in 1923 that first said that. Obviously, that's not the answer Google is going to give you when you invariably Google who said that first. It won't be Fred Smith in 1923. And I can guarantee you, whatever you do get on Google has no bearing on the fact that having something written down for the first time <laughs> doesn't mean that it wasn't ideated. I can spell that if you'd like. It's like idea... T-E-D. Like, idea, Ted. <laughs> Ideated. Oh, fancy word. What do I mean? Thought of. Thought about. Conceived. Understood. And if somebody was to strap me to a really nice chair and press me with all kinds of vile torture <laughs> about if you could reduce Satanism to one statement, what would it be? Tell us the truth now. I'll be like, hey man, thanks for the cheeseburgers, but I hate cheese. I prefer my steak medium rare, 
The porterhouse is awesome, although I'd really like the ribeye. And the answer to your question is rather simple. That which does not kill me makes me stronger. That's Satanism. Full stop. That's it. That's the recognition. It's that simple. See, this is why, and, and I, the same thing with my Buddhism. My Buddhism is really, really fucking simple. Really. But the application and all the, the rest of it, that's where it gets complicated. The fundamental realization is just the fundamental realization. That's like, okay, I stick to the floor. <laughs> right? We live in a world based on conflict which generates betterment. And that would be the Satan to Lucifer vector. It's kind of like the fall in reverse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that an upside down cross or are you just happy to see me? I don't fucking know. And see, this is why the um, drama class Satanists out there, and these people know who they are. Because, hey, if L. Ron fucking Hubbard. <laughs> Could create Scientology and make it make as much money as it fucking does, then fuck, somebody's got to be able to do that shit for Satanism, right? <laughs> and all the historical ironies about L. Ron Hubbard's uh, dibble dabbles with one Jack Parsons and one. <laughs> infamous working right for those that know the history it's out there yeah just google Jack Parsons OTO google uh, these nuts I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying but these drama class Satanists like yeah, dude. All right, look, man. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this makeup on, right? I want to make sure. get, Yeah, get Wendy in here. She does the eyeliner just right, dude. Yeah, and when I, and when I, and when I do this circle, I want actually I want you to draw the circle out like in the outline on the ground, right? But so they can't see it with the camera when it's recording. So like when I'm pouring, that I'll get it just right and it'll look like fucking awesome and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? These motherfuckers know who they are. And, yeah, I mean, shit, you could probably make money off of reality somehow. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that. To actually take reality, the nature of reality, and make a success out of it. There's a whole lot of different ways of doing that. I mean, just look at fucking Kanye West. <laughs> right? a whole lot of different ways of doing that but you damn sure ain't gonna be able to sell it as a religion why it's too easy it's too simple for that it's too fundamental it underlies everything 
As a matter of fact, and this is why I say that the master, and for those of you confused when I say the master, I mean the anthropomorphic Satan, understood as a comic book character that represents a fundamental reality of our existence. <laughs> A mythological character that nonetheless represents a fundamental factor of our reality. A god of sorts. Underlies, the master underlies everything. Their Christianities, their, their, their Islams. Because when I say Christianities, plural, I mean that. There's like according to some counts upwards of 10,000 different S E C T S sex it's never going to sound right when i say that it's always going to sound like i'm saying fucking sex and denominations <laughs> of christianity and there's at least one fundamental divide within Islam, although within that one divide, meaning actually the Shia, there are several divisions, and even within Sunni, there are several, uh, I, I think there are four schools of jurisprudence, or what might be called applied philosophy, within Quranic and um, uh, text of the Hadith. But the master underlies all that. All that's a tool for the just what I fucking said. Satanism 101. Whatever doesn't kill me makes me stronger. It underlies everything. It underlies all the fundamental truth. Because it assumes the battle that's being waged. And it's not just one battle. It's, it's, a, it's a, a panoply. Panopoly. Panoply. Of realities. So. I mean, shit. Oh man, dude, there ain't nothing worse than getting a fucking piece of lint stuck in your goddamn lighter. That fucking sucks. That's why you keep the back up. Yeah, hold on to that for me, Anakin, if you would. But yeah, whatever doesn't kill me or that which does not kill me makes me stronger and it makes everything stronger and stronger is better might is right but if you measure okay might <laughs> might is a word that you can measure in many different ways I mean think about it like this the United States is currently at the point where, um, and I saw a video on this and I was surprised. Um, I should link it, but I won't. You'll be able to find it if you desire. But it's basically like a what if the United States fought the entire rest of the world in a war. The 50 states of the United States of America up against the entire rest of the world. And when I went into this video, I was like, that's easy. <laughs> we wouldn't stand a fucking chance. The rest of the world would decimate us. Now, of course, the one caveat for this video was no nukes. Because obviously nukes is everybody's dead. So yeah, let's take that one off the table and say conventional warfare only. And dude, by the end of this video, 
it's like it's between 15 and 20 minutes so it's some time but then again you're here at this point so you'll probably be there if you're curious the united states would be able to defeat the rest of the world because we're basically everywhere <laughs> already and this gets to what i'm saying about like like uh, what I was g gonna get at, because go ahead and just just pull up United States versus the rest of the world. It it'll pull it up. I forget what channel it's on. It's on one of the ones I'm subscribed to. It's not Alternative History Hub, but it's one of those channels kind of like that. And I, you know, there's cool videos from time to time. But yeah, like so you can have a like a nerd sitting behind a computer screen controlling a an unmanned drone that wipes out an entire battalion of very strong um let's say ISIS fighters physically strong built but see they were all like jailhouse tatted and fucking like had them prison pounds on them you know what I mean these were these are them dudes with the fuck Fucking biceps and, and triceps and quadriceps and even though those ones in the leg and two's in the arms and shit. But who the fuck cares? Because some little nerd with a fucking video game attached to his fucking hand can wipe... So what is might? It's not just... Yeah, you could take a... Take a you know, take your fiercest fucking predator that you have and I know I know already first of all I know two things and these two things are really cool I figured I'd share them with you this is not really off topic it's kind of on topic but it's kind of like uh, tangential to the topic the most deadly animal on planet earth is the mosquito okay so it's not lions, tigers, and bears. All right, it's the fucking mosquito because of the diseases that it carries, malaria, deng dengue, or, or whatever the fuck, and, and the associated shit. And how are we using our might to take care of that problem? Well, we're creating these little, uh, I think they're viruses or bacteria or whatever the fuck they are, that basically infect only the, I forget which one it is that bites, probably the female, because usually. Yeah, females are the ones that bite. <laughs> Men throw punches, females bite. Anywho, that wasn't the second part. The second part was the most successful predator on planet Earth. The most successful predator on planet Earth. And it has a 100% success rate. And when I saw this, I, I just balked at it. I was like, man, that's bullshit. That ain't true. 100% success rate? No. Uh-uh. It's true. It's the dragonfly. The dragonfly. Yep. <laughs> that motherfuckers is no joke. Look this shit up. So again, just two tangentials there. So when I said, imagine a very you know, a ferocious animal. I'm not talking about the mosquito and I'm not talking about the dragonfly, even though those are number one and number one in their respective categories, which are quite impressive. Number one is killing the most people, i.e. the mosquito. And the other is success in hunting. That's the dragonfly. Neither one of these is really, I mean, mosquitoes, yeah, they kill us, but I mean, we're not really going to fight them with our might. We'll fight them with a different kind of might is exactly what I'm talking about. But imagine putting a man in a cage with a fucking tiger. All right? Man in a cage with a tiger, and it's just a man and the tiger. Boom, tiger wins every time. I don't care. Put the best, it, it, the strongest, toughest motherfucker you can think of. You know, whoever's the best in the UFC right now. Put him in there against the tiger. He's going to get mauled. I don't care. I mean, yeah, like, dogs dogs coincidentally enough dogs are easier um dogs you can put dogs in holds like you can full nelson a dog easily um problem is if it's a pack of dogs then you're fucked <laughs> 
and dogs hunting packs. I mean, wolves, dogs. I mean, I'm talking natural shit. I ain't talking, you know, your friend uh, Jack's terrier from down down the way. <laughs> I'm not talking about that dude. I'm talking about real dogs, real wolves. Uh, so yeah, they're easier a little bit to fuck with, you know, as, as far as the physiology of them all, because they're just basically all mouth. So like, and you know, I mean, they, they depending and depending on how they're trained, I mean, dogs are easily fucking one on one. A, a dog is no threat, but a big cat, <laughs> you're fucked. You're doomed. <laughs> but stick the same man and the same cat in the cage and give the man a gun. <laughs> all of a sudden guess who wins that's might might does make right might doesn't always have to be the sharpest fucking claw with the longest tooth ask our our friend uh smiliodon or smiliodon forget how that's pronounced the saber tooth cat ask that guy about how long your teeth have to be. And then you look at some of the most, um, like sharks, for example. Sharks have hardly evolved over the years. Why? Because they're apex. They've been apex for a while. They might have gotten a little bit smaller. They're not megalodons anymore, except in the movies. But they're apex for a reason. Are we apex on the planet? Yeah, we are. But, and here's the caveat to this video, which is way too long. Well, you got the best parts in the first like seven minutes. Is that we're at a tipping point on a lot of different fronts. simultaneously and it's the testing ground I think the next five ten years and I'm not I'm not some like uh, preacher prophet or some shit like that but what I'm saying is is that the fact of our apexness and 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 the in the, the broadness of it across the planet Every apex predator operates within its, its niche. It's natural environment. And those are always very local. But us, well, we've conquered a planet and populated the fuck out of it and developed... Okay, so here's where I throw in the real crazy Alex Jones shit. You been here this far? Are you ready? I've said this before. Every time I say it, people think I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm being completely fucking honest. Strong AI is already here. It's been here for a while. As a matter of fact, the more I, the more I look at stuff, I think it's been here for longer than we think. And by strong AI, what I mean is fucking like artificial intelligence of a magnitude greater than our own. And we all know that when that happens, and I'm going to assume for a second that it hasn't yet, okay? So I'm just going to assume that it hasn't yet. It's referred to as... The tech singularity. And that's basically when you get the breakthrough of AI. AI is there. Boom. It's there. It's like Skynet from the Terminator series. Or whatever it was in the Matrix series. And you get utopias or dystopias depending on how you want to fucking vector it all out. In your own little minds. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go on record and say the shit is already here. It just doesn't want us to know it's here. And if it's at the level that I'm pretty sure it's at, there's a very good reason why it doesn't want us to know it's here. 
But, you know, I look at, yeah, well, fuck that. 25 minutes is good enough. <laughs>